welcome back to Fred and Shed. We're up in the Radio Shack. And on the bench today, we've got the Sholong LC90 Internet and Shortwave Radio. Now, when I tested this a few weeks ago, we had some minor issues with it. The radio locked up a few times, and I couldn't get the voice search to work for the radio stations. So they've come up with a new firmware, and on this video, I'm going to try and see if I can update it and hopefully it will sort those problems out. Now when you update the firmware on this radio you have to make sure that you've inserted a little TF card in the slot below there. I've put in a 32 gigabyte card, I haven't reformatted it or anything, it's got some MP4 files on there so I'm hoping that's not going to be a problem. Right, I've read the instructions so it said that we press the little config menu uh, screen there then we scroll down we check that our Wi-Fi is on and then we go down to version info press OK right so this is telling me that I've got the uh, 4.6 stroke 2 version and the latest version is 4.7 4.71 so we're ready now to upgrade I think they've done a few versions of this I think it started at something at like 4.1 um, if you've got an older radio I believe what I've been told that if you've got less than 4.4 so if you're on 4.3 you have to connect the radio via a USB-C lead to a computer to do this but after 4.4 it will work via the internal Wi-Fi. I believe 4.5 also sorted sorted out the radio birdies that some of you had. I had none of that issue with this radio. Now this should be completely automatic. I press OK and then touch nothing. Alright, that's it. it. Says it's going to take about five minutes. Don't press any of the keys. Yeah. And that seems to be working. So I will pause the video now and then we'll come back when it's downloaded. Okay, download success. It's now verifying the file. That was quite painless. Verifying success, all sounds good. And I assume the radio is now going to restart. It does. Caution. Please wait about two minutes, then the system will automatically begin to upgrade. Please do not press any key. Yep, fine. Just sit here and we'll leave that alone. I don't suppose you can see that. If I can zoom in, you can see that on the screen there. There you go. Okay, it's writing a new file. It seems that my card's going to be okay. Update successful. It's, um, it's shut down. Let me zoom out. And now we are restarting. So that was really painless. Assuming that everything's worked as it should. Right, we're back to the uh, the home screen. I had to shoot downstairs. We had an Amazon parcel come in. So I think now everything should hopefully be updated. So if I push that to switch it on. Hold it down. Do I have to hold it down? Oh, I've powered it off. Okay, let's power it back on again then. Forgetting how to use the radio. This is just me being a bit a uh, bit stupid. So yeah, so hopefully we've got the latest version. I think the latest version is 4.7, I believe. Or thereabouts. Here we go, waiting for a connection. Oh, network error, so it hasn't quite found my uh, my Wi-Fi. Although the symbol saying that it has. Looks like it's going to restart again. Yeah, it doesn't seem to like my Wi-Fi up here. It's waiting for network connection again. It's just rebooting itself. So we've got the Wi-Fi symbol there. Um, I 
Right, there's FM. We've got FM working. If I go into the menus, I'll just press the menu key there. So now let's we go back down and we can see what version we've got. Version info. Okay. There we go. You can see that. Yeah, so we are using the latest version. So we've now got four four seven point one. Brilliant. That worked. Okay, so what I want to do is um, I want to test that voice search because that was what didn't work before. Come out of this. I can remember how to get out of it. Oh, no, don't do that. Menu search, right, into search. So if I hold down the language button and I speak into it, hopefully that will find me the radio station we want. BBC Radio 4. Let's see if it works this time. There you go. Fantastic. That's really good. We'll try another one. BBC World Service. There you go. And I'll just press that to... Well, that seems to have uh, fixed it, hasn't it? We'll try one more. A little bit more difficult now. Radio Caroline. There you go. And then just go straight into that. And I hope that will load up. It's got a lovely sound to it. So, yeah, they've, they've fixed that then. That's good. That was one of the things that um, wasn't working. Hopefully, my radio just locking up. Maybe it was just a bit of a glitch. Everything else seems to work. Yeah. Okay, well there you go, so I've got the latest firmware. I'll, I'll have to let you guys know in the comments if I get any more uh, issues with the with the radio. But as I say, it seems to have uh, fixed that search system. And that's it, that was relatively uh, painless. So as always, thank you for tuning in to Fred in the Shed. I do appreciate your view time. I hope that was helpful if you got the same radio and you were wondering how you do the uh, firmware. As I say, I didn't reformat that card in the bottom there. I don't think uh, you need to. I just use a 32 gigabyte card. Uh, nothing higher. Anyway, thumbs up from Fred in the Shed. Cheers. Thanks for your view time. And of course, I'll catch you all on the next one. Cheers, guys. Fred's in the Shed Where the magic gun falls Fred in the Shed With his trusty CD He's a friend to the lonely on a frequency.